I'll tell you why Republicans are attacking Bob Bergdahl. They don't care if his kid was in captivity. Hey, he stood next to the president of the United States at a time when the president of the United States, Barack Obama, did something great for a family. It's an easy target to go after the Muslim sympathizer with a beard who was standing next to President Obama. Bob Bergdahl did absolutely nothing to become a target of the right wing and right wing commentators and a network encompassing all of that. Now, the only thing that matters, really, is what his son did. The fact is, we really don't know what happened to Sergeant Bergdahl. Republicans are out criticizing Bergdahl for deserting his post and saying that he went AWOL. Pure speculation. No proof of that whatsoever. Media reports that could easily be inaccurate. They have absolutely no knowledge of what actually happened when he was captured or if he went AWOL. And since when did we have so many members of Congress become military experts having no experience or time in the military at all? Now, if Bergdahl did go AWOL, if he did, let me ask you the question tonight. Do you think the military, do you think the brass is going to be able to come to the conclusion about what happened? The military is going to take care of this, regardless, regardless of all of that. An American soldier, Bergdahl, deserves to come home. Even General Stanley McChrystal, who we all know is not a big Obama fan, said that we should not be judging but the But you soldier. see, the problem is that there's a lot of members of Congress who don't think that the military brass has the intelligence to take care of this. For Congress and the conservative media to suggest that they know more than the military brass is an outrage. It's an insult. Republicans, they're not supporting the troops. They're attacking the troops. They think our generals are idiots and can't figure out what happened to this guy. And they don't even want to give them time to do it because they hate Obama so much. Republicans are disingenuous when they claim to support the troops and attack Bo Bergdahl's father. The one person who is supporting the troops is President Obama. He is standing behind his decision.